which is how many animals do you have? You don't have to tell me, but think. You think. Enemies means what? It's not real like I'm going to war with that person. It's not like that. But sometimes clash that I don't like that person's behavior. I don't like that person's uh, speech. I don't like that person's how act. I don't like that person thinking he is the best. Something, something, because of something. So in short, we can say because of a person verbal action, because of a person's physical action, because of a person mental action, you or we, we don't like something in our society. It can be in our family, it can be other family, it can be in our country, it can be the other country, it can be the world. So think about how many such people that you have in your life. Take a time, few time, it's like few seconds to think about it. Okay, I don't like that person. So maybe one, two, three, something like that. Got some? Okay, just keep in mind. Don't have to tell anyone. Keep it. I will let you know that don't down yourself. Don't push like, oh, it's so bad. I have such a big numbers. Don't think like that. It's okay. Okay. Now, this is a question for today, and we answer through the through the through one stories. That is, uh, there was a teacher. There was a teacher. She brought all the students outside, that is to the one garden, vegetable garden, and gave everyone that uh, one shopping bag, plastic bag, right? Plastic shopping bag. So said, okay, have it. And said to all the students, students, pick up the amount of tomato into your bag thinking how many people in your life that you don't like, don't like, they get it. It means for example, okay, I don't like that person one. I also don't like that person like two. So how many like them? So after sometimes all the students, they are pick up, you know, some students pick up two, three, four, five, six, some students are oh, very heavy. You know, they are, they are still asking, oh, give me one more bags, mm -hmm. something, something like that. They are brought all into the class. And after the class, it was Friday, something like that, and said, okay, bring this tomato bag into your room, in your house. Don't keep this into the fridge. Keep this very close to you. So whatever we are doing experiments, the, the mark will be given accordingly the next week. So you have to, but you have to bring this, all this to me. And that some kind of that marks may be very, very important for all of them. So they are brought, yeah, okay, okay, sir, no problem, teachers, they are brought. And so something happened. Something happened during this two days holiday. So in the evening, it was okay after one hour, two hours. In the evening, it start to something melt. Mm -hmm. And one day, also we start to melt, and not only melt, but a little bit kind of smell. Now a students start to blame me. Ayo, these stupid teachers, what they are, she gave to me, ah, changing this and that. And now this student cannot stay even in the rooms after one day to this time. It is very easy to dry. It is easy to melt. And it comes very bad as smell if you don't keep in the fridge. So somehow, somehow next day when the school started, they brought it to the schools, you know, Okay, okay, I hope it like this. <laughs> tomato. Eh? tomato. So, but no one is allowed to throw, mm -hmm. no one allowed to reduce anything. So, anyhow, now the smell, you know, the, the whole class is very smell. Uh, in the same time, there's some students who are very, very, very normal. 
They were smiling. They was happy. There was no problem. They had no complaints. They did not complain of the tea to the tea to this and that. So then I start to telling about the message behind these stories. Why? Why the teacher did so? And what the marks, what she wanted to point out. So you see, how do you think? I mean, can you think or can you imagine like who were more suffering, you think, among these students? Who were more suffering? The most Yes, the student who picked up more tomatoes into their bags, kept in their rooms, right? It's more the person who have one or two is they could manage something this and that. Okay, but it's still a smell. It's remember the same tomato is something physically we can see in our life. That's why we can feel it. You know, the Dhamma it says, the person who hates the people, he or she is always having such kind of a smell. They are in their mind and their appearance becoming very dirty, ugly. They're not happy. So you see, the tomato is equal to the people how many bad or how many enemies we think in our life or how many people that we think we don't like. So you, for example, if you don't like one person or two person, many person, 10 person, 20 person, a lot of heavy, I, have to, I don't like this person, that person. So I asked this question to one of my very friendly, my friend, very great actually, I'm, I'm studying the uh, international school. And I asked, um, how many friends do you have in the class? And how many of them you don't like? He said, mm, okay, I don't like 29. I said, yeah, really? 29 people you don't like? Then I asked, how many people in the, in the class? 30. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's so. <laughs> so she don't like, very small actually. She don't like anyone. <laughs> so I don't know whether I could able to make you some sense, but try to understand this. Think about yourself. The more, the more, the more, how do you feel? Um, this person, that person, this and that. It's, it's, it's goes on. Another thing, remember, sometimes what we do is actually we try to skip neglecting. But you know, Buddha's time, during the Buddha's time, there was a kind of blaming to the Buddha. People are blaming. People were not so nice to the Buddha even. So what about you and me? If Buddha was such a great person, right? Mm -hmm. So people blame to him, right? We have a stories. So, and do you think people blame to him because the Buddha was wrong? Right? 